Okay, I think we're on. Um, I hope you enjoyed my, I, I hope I don't get in trouble for that, but uh, my uh, final four um, picks there. Um, just, I, I was just having some fun with it. But anyway, um, so <clears throat> today's Pi Day, it's 3.14, which is, which is Pi truncated um, an infinite number of dishes, be, digits because of course pi is an irrational number so that's why the little imaginary eye over here which see I'd never make it as Brian Buzz the eye over here is saying that um, you got to be rational and then the pi over here is saying hey get real because this is a complex number anyway little math little nerdy math humor for you all um, so today what what I'm going to do is now let's get over here I don't know what happened to me. I don't see me on the screen anymore. Um, so let's go into here. Uh, there I am. I'm back again. All right. Yeah, I might have been there the whole time as far as you guys are concerned. But anyway, it uh, looks like I disappeared there for a minute. But anyway, let's go to um, this. Let's go to uh, um, our, uh, demo, our, our slideshow real quick. And let's just play this from the current slide. So this is lesson nine, and we're going to look more in depth at Newton's laws. Um, I kind of like the way that uh, uh, Dr. Kruger set this um, class up to start with in that he um, did energy first, and now we're really going to look at the forces. Okay, in 1687, Newton presented three laws which together allow us to understand a great deal about to world, our world is what that's supposed to say. Newton's first law, if an object is moving, it will go in a straight line unless a force acts on it. If an object is stationary, it will remain so unless acted upon by a force. This is huge. This was a brilliant insight because although it describes the true workings of the world, it is not the way the world appears to behave. And Aristotle, um, so this is, this is what's so funny. Aristotle was making, doing science back in about the 1200 BC, or not 1200, about four or five hundred BCE, so three, almost two thousand years before Newton, Aristotle was saying this is the way science works. And nothing changed because we had to also believe in the gods and all that kind of stuff. Now, I'm, I'm a good Presbyterian and I don't want to offend anyone, but at the same time we have to do, there's science, and I didn't even want to go down this road, but <laughs> there's science, which is done with reason and experiment and um, uh, and you reach conclusions, and then there is philosophy, and then there is religion, and 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 our beliefs and things like that. Um, different things completely. Okay, but anyway, um, but this was a, but Aristotle would sit there and look at the world, and go, hey, if I throw a pebble, you know, he's going, hold on. He's going, hold on. If I throw a pebble, you know. If I roll um, this rock down this dirt road, it's going to eventually come to a stop. So everything wants to be stationary. That was his idea. And then he would drop pebbles in water, and they might be of different densities and things like that. And they would fall at different rates. And he'd go, and he'd see the feathers of a bird or something, um, or, or he'd drop a piece of papyrus or something like that, and it would kind of float down. And he would drop a rock, and he'd go, look, that goes, you know, that, that, the obviously um, things that are more massive fall faster. And then you'd be like, well, wait a minute. If that's the case, let's attach, then how come these dandelions, which they were around in his time, or seed, pod seeds, how come these things are so light? How come they fall a lot slower, even though they're more massive with the seed on them than just the actual, you know, than just the, the, the cottony part that floats? Mm kind of a contradiction. So anyway, that's part of what was going on. And, and so these, the, so this is the first law of motion. Now, what I want to show you, I'm going to go ahead and get X out now. Uh, what I'm going to show you is a cool experiment on that too, using the, uh, using the ladybug camera. Okay. So now what we've got here is I'm recording this through the, uh, dot camera thing. Um, Here's what we're going to do is we're going to take this, going to take this ball bearing, all right, 
Now it's just sitting there. What we're going to do is I'm going to roll it along here, and when it pops out here, I want to know which path is it going to take. Is it going to go straight? Is it going to curve around like this? Or is it going to go like this? And does it matter? Let's roll it slowly and see what happens. Let's roll it slowly and see what path it takes. Went straight, didn't it? Nice and slow. There it go. Went right along that straight path. Even if we go fast, let's go fast. Right along the straight path. Try it again. Faster. Whoa, straight, still along the straight path. All right, so a force is holding it in the track, and then when it pops out here, there's no longer a force holding it. So if I just roll it along like that, ooh, there's some force, there's some friction on the, on the paper. And also, wow, there's some definite, definite forces at work here. Look at that, it's got a natural tendency to go that way. My desk is at a slant going down that way. I didn't realize that. So that kind of destroys my, my, my theory. All right, <clears throat> well anyway, that's why it didn't work. All right, or that's why it worked is because it got, um, it was being held by the, um, is being held inside by the pan. And then when it popped out on the other side, it kept going. I think somebody just knocked, but that's good because we're done with this section. All right, so we're, you're back again. Let's go ahead and get rid of the pie plate. That's what was on before. Don't need to save that because that's already been saved. All right, here I'm building your, your course here. What is that? I don't need that. Well, that's for my sheet music that I buy for my... Sorry about that. Um, anyway, well, let's go ahead and go to this other experiment I wanted to show you real quick. Um, and it's over here. I think I could have done this this way from the very beginning and we'd have been fine. There we go. All right, so now let's take a look at this. What happens here? Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these four Jolly Ranchers. We have four Jolly Ranchers here. This will take about three minutes. I, I should add this setup before I get started. Let's we'll set them down here. One, two. I wonder if I can sit them on the end. No, I don't want to sit that way. Two. Well, first of all, if I just take this thing, first of all, if I, if I leave them there and just take one and take this rubber mallet, whoa, smashed this shit up. I mean, smashed it to death, right? All right, smashed it pretty good. Well, what would happen? Let's just take two of them. Now, let's do it this way. Let's take two of them. Put them underneath this wooden block here. Okay, so I got this wooden block. Let's see if this helps. Cushion the blow at all. Put them like that. Okay, and I go like this. I'm not going to hit it hard, but just kind of like I did last time. Ooh, I kind of got that one. Oh, the, it just kind of broke it in half. It didn't smash it to smithereens. That's for sure. Now, look at this. Oh, I said, this is so cool. I'm making a heck of a mess. It's starting to smell good in here. It's starting to smell like funfetti uh, cupcake stuff. All right, but anyway, now, I've got something else here. I want to show you. I want to show you. This is, this is so cool. All right? I'm going to show you this thing. Go to the FaceTime camera. There we are. Where is it? Love my t-shirt. I love my t-shirt. Anyway. Ah, I got something down here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a lead brick. Ah, okay. Where'd it go? Where's my ladybug picture? Y'all can't see that. It's gone.
on. What the hell happened? Something something went wrong. All right, so we got half the smashing done. We'll we'll finish that up now. So let's ease out of this. Okay, you're here. Let's let's go back to my uh, ladybug. I I think she's got to come back on again. Do 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 do. Come on now. There we go. There it is. There is the proverbial lead brick that I was picking up earlier at the end of the other movie. This thing weighs 22 pounds. Okay? 22 pounds. In other words, it's about 10 kilograms. Um, or it might weigh more than 22 pounds. I gotta go weigh it because I'm not sure, but it, but it's very dense. It's all in one spot. Okay. It's very, very dense and it's all in one spot. We got it, we kind of got it covered with plastic because it is a lead brick. It's made for the, uh, the small, some of the nuclear stuff that we do around here, um, to protect us. Um, and we just got a brick from it. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is let's put four Jolly Ranchers down and then I'll very carefully... This shows inertia. An object does not want to move. If it's very massive, it does not want to move. It's hard to get it to move if it's very massive. So, of course, the first Jolly Ranch, I've, I've been unwrapping these things all damn day. Of course, the first one I grab won't want to unwrap. Bootsy thing. All right, but anyway, so we'll put this one down here. Those almost look like little earplugs we used to get on the rifle range. But anyway, uh, take this, put this one here, because it takes four to actually make it work pretty good. So there we go. And we'll kind of distribute them out a little bit. And then what happens is, you saw what happened when we smashed it with the wood. Now, let's smash it. See, it took us a while. It took us a long time to find something that would work, that would actually hold up. We tried walnuts, peanuts. Peanuts crushed right away. But these Jolly Ranchers, they seem to stay pretty good. So if we whack it, so I'm going to whack it. See, they don't break. Ta-da, they're still there. That worked pretty darn cool. That works pretty darn cool. All right. <clears throat> Whereas you saw with the uh, with the wooden ones, if I put uh, if I put the wooden ones here, if I put the wooden brick back here, not massive at all. It's a mess. Same same whack. All right. So there we go. All right. Well, that we went a long way for that one, didn't we?